I got your text and I was like, what the hell? Do some selfies. Get my new, my new profile pic. Get a selfie of the little pumpkin patch here. Babs's pumpkin patch. <gasps> what are we doing, Mace? What you doing, girl? You're getting so big. You're getting so big. Will you stop growing? Will you stop growing? Will you stop growing? She's as tall as Morgan now. Height-wise, like she's the same height. Uh, we weighed her. She's 20 pounds. Tink, I think, is 15 pounds, and Morgan's a hefty 50 pounds, so you'll get up there soon, huh? But take your time. We don't want you there yet. So, this. I am so excited for this right now. I've been... I just ordered this. Just ordered this Thursday, and it's already here. So, I... It's a good thing the girls don't watch the vlog. They're gonna see it tomorrow at the, at the home game. I've been wanting to get these for a while. Okay, first up, we got Tay. <laughs> In the stand, we're gonna have big heads. Dude, they're gonna be so, they're gonna be so mad. So mad. But well, we are so excited for these. Let's go show Babs. She doesn't know. You wanna see what I got? Oh, that was really gonna make her mad. They're gonna be so mad. You know who they are? They're gonna be so mad. And that's that's the best part about being a parent right there. Who's that? Me. Who is that? Me. Is that Tay Tay? Who's that? She's gonna hate that one. Is that Mac Mac? Yeah. She's gonna be so pissed. Are they gonna be angry? Yeah. They're gonna be mad, huh? That's what my job is. Make my kids mad. So these will be in full effect tomorrow at the soccer game so excited for these things and that was quick that was really quick uh shipping and production and they did a fantastic job there was no proof or anything so i was a little scared uh that they came that quick but it was cardboard cutout standees they did great they're out of wisconsin if you ever want these done look them up So I spent spent all day editing. Um, aside from a few errands this morning, uh, majority of my day was spent editing, trying to wrap up some some wedding films uh, because we have a ton of work coming up in the next two weeks. We have so much work coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm just trying to get trying to get everything done and then have a lot of fun this weekend at the same time so again trying to balance uh you know business with pleasure it's not as much of a challenge out here as it was back in california but it, it definitely uh can become an issue and really that's just on me that's on my my time management um so it's really good are we in focus at all we are so i've got trying to get some some weddings done i just wrapped up a bunch of small business stuff we have three weddings coming up in the next two weeks um plus just some other odds and ends um <clears throat> but yeah it's been it's been like so busy we're just running around doing everything we can right now like this morning was just trying to get all the errands done so i could get home and do editing because i'm trying to make sure that i allot enough time for everything like this morning we were at costco and it's funny we were, <clears throat> were in the parking lot and we ran into uh patrick Patrick and his wife, uh, they follow the channel and they had moved from Colorado and uh, they had moved to Maryville and they were just doing their Costco thing, had had some, some pretty rad hats on um, and they kind of 
caught our attention and there's like Hogue and I was like hey what's up man so uh, it's always fun meeting people out outside of the channel like in person you know that have moved here or you know maybe had some impact from us you know maybe we had some provided some value to them uh, to get here and get out of where they were at but and my focus I'm trying to stay with with the dailies right we're almost at we're almost at half a year like we've almost hit six months so 365 days in the year 182 and a half will be will be the halfway point so we're, we're inching close but I really like them because I go back and I even go back to the first one back in March and like I was telling Babs like it's kind of crazy like that I've gotten this far because there's there's been many times when I want to let my foot off the gas but I look back and I'm glad I didn't because we got so many things coming up. Like still Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all the way into, the, into 2021. That's the biggest thing, right? Everyone's looking forward to 2021 for goodness sakes. Um, but it's fun going back and like even seeing what a different person I was when I first started like YouTube and how uncomfortable a vlog was originally and how you learn to grow and just change things and just looking at March, March to here, like what, what COVID's done from us. Like, I mean, we were, you know, at first we were sheltering in place here on, on the hill, like not wanting to go anywhere. You kind of start loosening up and you have some common sense set in and things get a little looser and then you go from there, right? And and here we are now, almost six months into it. So uh, it's been fun because I know for myself, I'm not the same person I was a year ago, six months ago, a month ago, a week ago. Um, it's kind of a, a ever-changing thing, right? And I watched, I watched a little like little mini film on Jim Carrey and in that little film he said something inside you is always telling a story everything you see and hear is trying to tell you something and it took me back to high school little, just right after high school um, one of my good friends uh, her dad was a sound engineer at Disney Studios so he did uh, you know voice recordings voiceovers sound effects all kinds of stuff and we would get to go to the studio and we would we would sit behind the glass at the soundboard you know while he did voiceovers I mean it was it was so cool like a couple that stood out was Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan was a very memorable sound recording experience uh, Paul Walker Paul Walker was actually a local to where I grew up in La Cunada La Crescenta um, he, he was in there uh, but again going back to Jim Carrey Jim Carrey was there once and Jim Carrey when I was a kid uh, was my idol uh, like like many of you that are my age, Jim Carrey was just something else. I mean, from, from Fire Marshal Bill, to Ace Ventura, to Dumb and Dumber, to The Mask, to Liar Liar, Truman Show, like just following the progression of Jim Carrey and watching him become an actor from goofy, silly stuff, to serious stuff, to drama, to, to everything. Like, I really admired him, right? So when I saw this little short docu-series, like it really stood out. And I remember, I got to I got to talk to him like I got to meet him that that day and we talked about snowboarding we talked about snowboarding and we talked about video and he cracked up because he had never been snowboarding before someone had given him a Mountain Dew snowboard and he had never rode it but it was sitting in his thing and he really admired anybody that got out there and snowboarded and you know he was just fascinated and he listened to everything I had to say and I'm thinking like here's Jim Carrey like like he doesn't need to be here entertaining me. I'm a nobody, some random kid, right? Some random kid sitting with my friend in the sound booth, you know, and just kind of like a groupie or something, you know, just fangirling. And I remember like when he was ready to leave, like he looked at me like eye to eye with the most sincere thing, you know, and he said, remember what you love, chase that because you might not wake up tomorrow. And, and that kind of hit me like really, really hard seeing this little mini doc that I just watched and then some things that we've had going on um, locally here uh, just with the girls and some friends I'm gonna try to get Taylor out here really quick but yeah like when when he said that that really set with me right and then kind of along the way I know as I've watched myself progress as a person one thing that that's kind of set in on me is I think the word would be empathy right is trying to get on that person's level and just just relate to them right and just be on the same same thing as them and not necessarily understand but but lend myself to try to understand right and and, and be there for them so I kind of try to remove myself from everything and, and and judgment judgments a hard thing right and I, I I think I was really bad at judging people back in California 
So I kind of remove myself from that and the whole judgment thing because we don't know what's going on. We don't know what's going on behind someone's closed doors. Like we don't know what they're facing, what, what kind of issues they have, anything like that. Come here. This is a good one for you too. Grab a seat. Right now. Yeah, that's a good outfit, right? See if we can focus both of us on this. Okay, so I'm just kind of talking about um, judgment. You know I met Jim Carrey when I was a little bit older than you, right? You ever hear that story? No. I never told you that story? No. Oh. Well, it meant a lot to me. Um, you like Jim Carrey, right? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite movie? Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Ooh, Ace. I can recite the whole thing. <laughs> I, I promise you. So, I was just talking about like when I met him, like he had some pretty big words. Um, and it kind of took me along the path of like judgment and not knowing what's going on. And so, you had a kid at your school recently, last week? Week before? Week before. Um, who took his life, right? 14? And I remember getting the email from the school and kind of Babs' reaction, you know, like, was like, oh my gosh, that was so-and-so. And the only, I know we hear about it a lot, um, and that's what sucks is we're hearing about it a lot because when I was a kid, this didn't happen. Like, I, we never heard about it. Um, but the reason this one, like, stuck out is because we got that email on the Sunday, and on Friday, what happened on Friday? Um, they do, like, a free lunch thing, and I didn't get one, and then he, like, just offered his. And so he offered you the last slice of pizza. So I, I guess the U.S., the USDA is doing free lunches for all these kids now in school, um, just because there's excess funding now. Um, and basically, Tay, Tay went in to get lunch, and it was the last slice left, and this kid was like, no, take my slice. He ended up getting one. Don't take that the wrong way. But, yeah, they didn't have them out yet, and so he didn't know if they were bringing any more out, and then he gave me it. So, and then two days later, you know, the poor kid faced, like, the ultimate decision, right? Um, and I just go back to that because he seemed like a cool kid, like, fine. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody liked him, like, mm -hmm. right? And it's hard, like, and I try to push it on them. Like, you don't know what somebody's going through. Like, all too often we're on the road or something and someone cuts you off and flips you off or... You know, someone's just rude to you at the store or snaps back at you or takes the last slice of pizza, like, you know, and the problem is you don't, much like anything else we see on the internet, like, you only see that little sound bite or that little clip. Like, we don't know what happened the day before, the week before, the month before, you know, and I mean, God help him. Like, I hope there wasn't like any, any... I mean, obviously he was facing some troubles and stuff, but that's not the answer at all. We all know that. And like Babs was saying, I wish I wish we had enough money that we could like have a house that like any kid that wanted to could just come and hang out. And I mean, Mackenzie had friends back at home that, I mean, they would call crying, you know, to her and they just didn't want to be at home. And they're more than welcome to come to our, to our house. Like our door is wide open. Like any kid can come over here. And I think that's just, you know, from my childhood, what what I know, like I had to face, like no kid should have to go through that. And it just, it was interesting just seeing that little Jim Carrey snippet today and that really set in. And, and then on Saturday, we get another text that um, one of the soccer teammates on the varsity team, uh, her dad suddenly passed away. Um, it was unexpected, they didn't know. Um, but I lost my dad when I was 17. Um, I think I had a little bit of a different upbringing, um, but you know, anybody, any kid losing their parent, like, there's nothing you can say or do, honestly. Like, it's one of the hardest things. And I just, first it was the kid, the kid at school with her, and then, and then the soccer teammate's dad, and just 2020 being 2020 right now. We just need any glimmer of hope we can. So, you know, I don't want this to be a downer thing, but it just really, it stuck out to me. And I know 
I've reached a lot of people on this channel and a lot of good people, right? And one of my main things that I always try to promote, you know, is just just don't throw the judgment right away, right? Try to understand that person could have could have been having an issue, you know, something could have happened. Just like we see these clips, you know, of, I mean, whatever you want to call it, you know, someone getting shot by police, you know, an argument at a store, you know, anything where we all of a sudden want to get on these these soap boxes and fight for fight for that person because we saw a 30 second clip. We don't know what happened in the previous minute. We don't know what happened afterwards. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean it's okay. Doesn't you know give it a pass or anything, but it's just it's a bummer. And that like just and then come come for full circle like one of Babs's good friends. It that boy happened to be uh, a family member, so it hurt even more. So it's just a bummer, but. Sorry, kid. Sorry you had to deal with that. You've had a rough, rough 2020, that's for sure. But hoping, hopefully moving to Tennessee isn't that bad of a thing. Hopefully you're still, that still ranks up here because we moved and then 2020 hits and it's kind of like, hey. Hey, welcome. I mean, you could have the wildfires. So, love you though. Know that, okay? That's why, that's why I do these because one day dad won't be here. And, you know, hopefully YouTube's still around and you guys can pull this up. And as much as you guys think I'm annoying and laugh at me for doing this, like, you're going to pull these up and you're going to laugh one day. So, I don't know. But that is it. That's what was sitting on me. So, I hope y'all are doing all right. Appreciate, uh, appreciate everyone here. And appreciate everyone like him that came up to me today and just, you know, thanked me or, you know, like said, hey, you know, it's cool. We watch you. We enjoy it. Uh, this we moved like we're having a blast. There's just more out there. Remember that like don't get stuck Don't get stuck thinking that's the only way so That is it from Tennessee We got we got a lot of soccer mm -hmm. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. Tomorrow's a fun soccer game. Yep. They'll see why <laughs>